Hey everyone, welcome back. You know we love diving deep into upcoming movies and I think this one's gonna be particularly interesting. Yeah, this one looks good. Lashti. Did I pronounce that right? Perfect. Okay, good. You've been practicing. I have been practicing. The Art of Being Happy. In English, a brand new French comedy. And I know you want to learn more about it. Absolutely. It just sounds so like perfect for this time of year. Right. Like, uh, like cozy night and you know, it's fall. Yeah, and this one's all about like finding happiness and what that even means. Yeah, it seems like the perfect kind of like feel good movie, right? Exactly. So tell me a little bit about like what, it's about like the basic plot. Yeah, so we've got this guy, Jean-Yves Marchand. Okay. He's a painter. Okay. But he's struggling. Struggling artist, classic. Yeah, classic okay. struggling artist, but he's also like unhappy. Unhappy with life in general. Yeah, like really unhappy. Okay. So he decides, you know what? I need to change. Okay. I'm going to go to this small town in Normandy. Yeah. Beautiful part of France, right? He's looking for inspiration for a masterpiece. That'll solve all his problems, right? Exactly. Yeah. He thinks, you know, if I can just create this amazing piece of art. Fame and fortune will fall Exactly. Out. And then I'll finally be happy. Oh, if only it were that simple. Right. So what happens when he gets to Normandy? Does he find what he's looking for? Well, he meets these two local artists, Ben Yule and Cecile. Okay, what are they like? They're kind of like free spirits, living a simple life, creating art for the joy of it. Not for the fame and fortune. Exactly, and they kind of help him realize that maybe that's where true happiness lies. Oh, that's interesting. So it's not really about the art itself? No, it's more about the journey, the process of finding yourself. The art of being happy, huh? Exactly, and it makes you think, right? Like, how often do we chase external validation instead of looking inward for fulfillment? All the time. Yeah. Like, I'm so focused on getting this podcast episode perfect. Right. That I forget to actually enjoy making it. So maybe this film is a good reminder for all of us to, like, slow down and appreciate the little things. Absolutely. It's about finding those moments of joy in the everyday. And speaking of the everyday, the setting itself, Normandy, it's got to play a part in this, yeah, right? Sure. Well, Normandy is like a character in the film. It's so beautiful. Yeah. And it's known for being so peaceful. I feel like I can already picture those like rolling hills and like the coast. Oh yeah, the coastline is stunning. So you think the setting will like actually influence Shoni's transformation? Absolutely, it's like the perfect backdrop for him to find himself. You know, it's funny you mentioned like beautiful locations because I was just thinking about Emily. Oh yeah. Another French film. The classic. Set in such a visually stunning place. Montmartre. Right, like I feel like the setting really added to the magic of that film. Definitely, it created this whole atmosphere. And I bet it's the same with this film. Oh, for sure. I think the setting is going to be a big part of the appeal. OK, so when can we actually see this masterpiece? It's coming out October 30th. Ooh, that's practically Halloween. Yeah, right on the cusp of autumn. I wonder if that was intentional. Maybe. It kind of fits with that introspective vibe of the season. I mean, I'm already getting like cozy fall vibes just thinking about this film. Yeah, curling up with a warm drink in a movie like this. Perfect. And the actors. Tell me about them. Okay, so you've got Benoit Pulvord as Jean Yves. I love him. Yeah, he's hilarious. He's got such great comedic timing. Right. I bet he'll bring some lightness to even the more serious moments. Oh, definitely. He's a master of that. And who else is in it? Camille Cotton and Francois Demian. Oh, I know them. Yeah, they're both fantastic comedic actors. So we've got a guaranteed laugh out loud movie here. Oh, for sure, but with some real heart to it. Like a perfect balance. Exactly. You know, this really reminds me of some of Stefan Lebersky's other work. Yeah, he directed this one, right? Mm -hmm. He always manages to find that sweet spot between humor and deeper meaning. Exactly, and I bet he uses a lot of close-ups in this film, too. Oh, I bet you're right. You know how much he loves those like subtle facial expressions? Yeah, he's all about capturing those nuanced emotions. I can't wait to see how he portrays Jenny's transformation. Me too, it's gonna be fascinating. So to wrap things up, we've got a struggling artist searching for happiness. A journey of self-discovery in beautiful Normandy. And a comedic take on a really profound topic. What more could you ask for? Right. And here's a question for you all to think about as you watch. If you were to create your own masterpiece about happiness, what would it look like? What experiences would you draw? Ooh, that's a good one. It's something to ponder. Definitely something to ponder. And, you know, maybe even inspire your own art. I love that. All right, thanks for joining us on this deep dive into L'Arte d'Arhood. 
go check it out when it hits theaters. You won't regret it. It's going to be a good one. See you next time. Bye.